Hey, this is Kim Names, and welcome to the second episode of How to Code in Space Engineers C Sharp, C Sharp, or SE C Sharp. Now, this episode will be on a different version from this all-encompassing interior light version to a more specific based off of names. But in the last episode, I forgot to mention how to actually use this code to whatever use you would like. So starting out i my terminal blocks wrong thing sorry starting out with the i my interior lights this segment whichever block you want there will be links in the description of all these videos to the space engineers library where they keep all the names of blocks and all their actions go through and they'll be on screen right now go through and at the top of it it will say the name specifically you just replace that wherever you see I my interior light in code and then down at the bottom should be all the actions that you can do with it which is basically what you can do with the button and then you replace that with the on off section right here that should work no matter what you do as long as the action matches the block and you do have those blocks on your system so getting up to what I'm talking about today which is a named based system this is actually code from the reverse a piston which is up on the workshop. So they have a piston called dev piston and this code will actually access its the dev piston. So reverse a piston, I already have it loaded in. So first off it starts with making a variable which is named piston and making that equal to part of the terminal system which it uses get block with the name of dev piston. So now piston is equal to the specific piston that you named dev piston. You can always change these names to whatever block you have, but always change the I my whatever to the name specifically of that block. So now it goes through and uses making another variable called rev action, making a reverse action. I have a simplified version of all this that I'll bring up later which will go into piston, your variable, using basically using this as the I my piston base. Yeah, base. And then doing get action with the name reverse. This is where you would go through the actions and find the specific name that you would want of it. And then this last part just activates it. Activates the rev action, your variable, and of piston. It will apply rev action to piston. And thus, if I start up these timer blocks, they run every second and run each other. The piston up there will go in and out every second. I can make those go longer. But I'll actually show you my, I guess, simplification of it. It, I guess, I changed all the words piston to block. So changing that there. So that when you do change this for different types of blocks, just change those, you'll get an easier switch so that you're not naming, let's say, a spotlight piston. It's just block and then block and block action. Very creative with names, as I have stated before. So then it just activates block action and to block, which is the rotor named rotor and using I my rotor stator. They have weird names for some of this stuff. I think that just means the base, but not sure of that. And then also using the reverse action, I could also do on off if I cared to do so. And I'll have it remember the code. Remember and leave. And it's actually not moving, so I'll start that up. And now it will actually be reversing. So this also works for interior lights, as you saw. Well, as you can see, if you change up the I my rotor base or whatever that is to I my interior light and that actually works. I went through and tested with what will be the third episode over there, tested that these things, these actions, both this one and the entire set, as you can see that light turning on and off because of the randomization over there, actually works throughout multiple systems that are indeed connected system being this being the base system 
and that being a system that is extended out from it through the rotor. That gets a little bit tricky having similar names, but you can, that's what the next episode's on. So go check that out. That will be out tomorrow and along with the Tuesday update. And I'll see you in the next one.